Hi, I'm Suhit Tan. I'm a developer evangelist at Zenin Mobile. Hi, I'm Shehan. I'm also a developer evangelist for Zenin Mobile. Today we are here to talk to you about IVR, a recent addition uh, to our TAP platform. IVR basically stands for Interactive Voice Responses, uh, which is a nice way of saying that uh, we gather input from the dial pad of your telephone and we play pre-recorded responses as a result. If we look at the history of uh, IVR, IVR, IVR was initially pioneered when uh, Bell Labs introduced the tone dialing phones. Uh, they basically changed the rotary dial to a keypad dial. So basically using the keypad dial, the computers were able to identify individual numbers based on the tones and frequencies. As a result, what they realized was uh, it can be used as an input mechanism to identify and give out uh, output responses that are pre-recorded. So that's how the initial IVR systems were built. And uh, especially if you remember during the olden days when the mobile phones were fairly new and they used digitized keyboards, uh, there was an option where it said send DTMF so that uh, the widely used IVR systems can be accessible via mobile phones as well. And uh, as uh, you know, time progressed and a lot of uh, research and development went into IVR, uh, the system has come very inexpensive to use and a lot of companies have been adopting it. Um, but now I think there's much more research has been done as a result of many companies getting involved and uh, IVR is one of the greatest tools a business could have because it easily cuts down the amount of uh, employees they should need to handle calls and services, customer related services. So as a result now there's a lot of research has gone in and uh, I think IVR has come to a point where it can even understand uh, responses, human responses like voice recognition and also it can create automated speech and uh, pass it out as a response as well. I think Shehan came across a few examples if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Some of the companies which are researching on this is Microsoft and HP. They have actually implemented this in their support lines. If you dial one of their support numbers, you could simply give a vocal response and they will recognize and they will redirect your call to the relevant agents. Let me ask you Suhitan, what makes our IVR system unique? Well, um, IVR is unique uh, for two reasons. Uh, one is because uh, it's free to use for any developers and it's easy uh, in terms of creating an app. Um, if you compare it with any other IVR service that's available on the internet, uh, they usually are offered for a price. It's never free of charge. Our uh, ones are free to use and also our IVR APIs can be monetized. That is one of the other main reasons as well. Um, other than that, our IVR APIs are different from the other APIs we've released so far. I mean, the developers obviously know our previous APIs, SMS, USSD and CAS and all the LBS APIs as well. Uh, compared to that, this is an entirely new dimension of uh, APIs because it has the human touch to it. Because voice is a completely new dimension. Uh, for example, uh, let's say I'm a blind person. Um, I wouldn't be able to read the text messages that I receive from a mobile phone. Whereas an IVR recording, I can easily hear and understand. Uh, it breaks the barrier in terms of you know communication uh, which text had. And it's a refreshing change compared to all the other APIs. Um, not only that, with the IVR API set, we can actually do quite a lot of things. For example, like uh, back in the early days, it was only used to sort out customer response calls. But uh, with uh, a programmable IVR interface, you can do much more than that. For example, you should be able to build applications where you know you can pre-record audio clips. For example, let's say uh, the headlines for the day, and maybe make it as an IVR application, so anyone can simply who's having a hard time, you know, listening to the news or following up, can uh, on their way to some place, they can simply dial a number and get the top uh, ten headlines. And also, they can get horoscope information. They can get um, a, a, a lot of varied, uh, varied information types via IVR. Uh, you can not only mini, uh, you know, restrict it to information. Uh, there are cases when some people have hard time sleeping without soothing music. You can even uh, offer that as a service where you know uh, play soothing music when you dial a specific number. So there's quite a lot of um, you know. Uh, applications that can be built using IVR and the API um, addition of the IVR uh, to you know technology to the platform. If I'm not wrong, you've been working with the IVR development team and you've uh, tested quite a few applications. Uh, would you mind uh, telling the audience like uh, how easy it is to create an IVR application? Yes, Suhita. 
devices. Using our Zenit Mobile's API, it is very simple to create an IVR application. Basically, you could record a few audio clips using your mobile uh, or with any recording device and convert them to the relevant format and uh, define a flow using a JSON file and uh, connect it with a relevant telco and uh, you could uh, leverage your application out of it. Okay, yeah. that uh, sounds pretty interesting. Will you be able to show the audience a small yeah. demo? Yeah, let's do a demonstration. We will start off with converting uh, an audio file to the relevant format and uh, you could simply record it through any audio device. Uh, here we will record an mp3 clip to uh, show you how the conversion is done. Uh, basically you have to download a software called Sox, it's a sound exchange or else if you prefer Audio City, it's also another graphical uh, converter uh, where you could uh, convert the audio clips easily using this but personally I prefer Sox so basically you set up Sox and uh, open up a command prompt and uh, navigate to your relevant uh, file folder right uh, here is a mp3 which is uh, obtained for the conversion uh, let me play this for you as you can see uh, it's uh, being played quality and uh, let's convert this clip let me rename this as input and uh, well, once you navigate it to the folder, uh, simply type in the command. Uh, if you have set up SOX correctly, when you type SOX, it should display the amount of parameters and uh, these variables. And uh, you simply have to uh, write a command. Uh, this command means this is the input file and this is the output wave and trim the first 30 seconds of the audio clip and channels is 1 to make it mono and the rate is 8000. Uh, you should know that uh, the IVR call handlers usually support uh, sample rate of 8000 Hz and the algorithm of ALO and a mono channel uh, with, uh, and the audio clips should be less than 30 MB. Uh, once you are exporting the audio clip, the format should be 32 bit float and it should be in the wave format. Basically, SOX lets you convert to this format very easily. Yeah. Uh, our audio file is converted now. Let me copy the audio file near the JSON. Uh, our audio file is named as the output.wave. Uh, there is already a header wave. Let me replace this header wave with our converted audio clip. As you can see, uh, it's the same audio that I played earlier. A sample JSON response should define the flow of the audio clips that are being played. As you can see, this is the audio flow. Uh, basically, this is a simple IVR menu which uh, shows as in it plays the header file initially once you dial the number and uh, if you press 1, it will play the Leo.Wave and 2 for the Scorpio and 3 for Gemini. Once you have acquired your audio and your JSON, you simply select this audio and uh, include it in a zip. Uh, once you zip the audio, you could upload the zip and uh, the JSON file to your hosting space. Let me create a directory uh, to upload my audio clips. Uh, the audio clips are being uploaded to the hosting space. Once the audio clips are uploaded, uh, you could generate a MD key file to connect it with the relevant telco. Uh, as you can see, it's sudo minus u senit ivr key generator. This is a predefined command uh, where it generates the file, key file.
as you can see the md5 key is generated so basically you have to use this to connect it with the telco let me show you how the provisioning is done once you click provisioning in your relevant telco uh, you go to create applications and you uh, insert a name and a description And under the API configurations, you should tick IVR and click next. And for configurations, simply add the generated MD5 keys and select an IVR number where the available IVR numbers are actually displayed here. You should uh, get an allocated number. The connection URL is again defined in the API guide. The connection URL is inserted and uh, click confirm and your IVR application is done. As you've seen, uh, it's very easy to create this application and uh, our team has been working on major developments regarding this field. Uh, yes, Shahan, like you said, um, our development team has been working on this uh, IVR API for quite a bit of time. Um, I think uh, in future deployments you should be able to get the input data as well and you should be able to store it however you like. Even you can mash up the text-based APIs with the IVR API as well and you have uh, endless possibilities to create applications. Um, what we at Senate Mobile uh, think is that uh, this is a wonderful technology that we have added to the TAP platform and uh, based on uh, the early response we got, uh, got from uh, developers who tested out the platform and who created early test out apps is that uh, there's countless possibilities of apps that you can do and you can do very creative applications as well and since it's a free to use platform where also your ideas can be monetized uh, we expect you all to uh, sign up, give it a try because this IVR API of course is very simple for you to create and uh, it's a fantastic communication technology that hasn't been explored yet so I hope you all um, have a go at it, explore it and create great applications. Thank you. Thank you for watching.